when they think of this verse, they think of it negatively. Like, if you do a bad deed, it's going to reap a bad harvest. Yeah, it will. But if you do a good deed, it's going to reap a good harvest. That's the context. How do I know? Well, look what it says in verse 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit of the spirit shall reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well doing. Let's don't get tired of doing good. Why? Because in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Here's what it said. Don't get tired of doing good because when harvest time comes, we will reap if we don't quit. Some people quit because seed time is not harvest time. But I've been sowing and I haven't reaped yet. Right, but here's the thing. You don't know when harvest time is. God knows that. Everything is beautiful in his time. There's a time to sow, there's a time to reap. There's a time to build, there's a time to tear down that which has been built. There's a time to plant, there's a time to pluck up that which has been planted. There's a time to, there's a time to heal, there's a time to kill. What? See, every season has its own reason. And see, we think that we get to determine the season. I don't get to determine the season. Here's what I get to do. Sow the seed and cultivate the seed until God brings the harvest.